actually now I can probably start recording and then I can just get the resolution we can kick straight into it. Run, little mouse, run. There we go. Hey everyone, this is Dusko Maka as that gamer, and this is The Mask That Reveals a Disgusting Face, or Mask Reveals Disgusting Face. Hopefully it's interesting. The name itself is interesting. We'll see what we think of it. Um, I am not Russian, I'm English. The Mask Reveals Disgusting Face. Let's just click start and see what we think of it immediately. Two years have passed since I've been diagnosed with clinical depression. Since then, things didn't get any better. My friends tried to help me, but nothing worked. Ultimately, it seems they snapped or they stopped trying. I think they're disappointed in me. I click it all the same. When all my hope was gone, I started to feel like I am a drag for people around me. I decided to spend some time alone in an empty house outside the town. Obviously, this language is, this game's language first isn't English, so yeah, yeah, I'm away from the problems, away from disappointed friends. English is decent enough, at least I understand what they're saying, but there's a few mistakes, but I'm not bothered. We'll roll with it. Soon, I realized that was a bad idea. After a month spent in loneliness, I lost my mind completely. My pains have grown. I've become paranoid. But that's not the worst thing that has happened. Something weird happened to this house. Today I found out that the house is surrounded by a grid. It appeared from nowhere. I tried to get through it, but no luck. I'm locked here. But why? Besides, I feel like I'm not alone here. I can hear strange sounds and I see things. Oh god, I really need to get out. He says all excitedly, so... Here we go, inside the house. We got a few posters here. It looks like the Night of the Living Dead. Or some of the dead might be dead. I don't even remember what poster that is for one of the deads. More. Blurry, pixelated posters. Can't even hop on my computer. No need to use the computer right now. Well, that's a thing. There's my favorite 2D trash can also. Um, can't use it. There's no signal. I'll trust in the no signal claim, but regardless, let's go on out. Press shift to sprint. Always good to know. It's got a few different points of interest already. I'm just going to kind of explore around my house right now with my favorite 2D china bowls, microwave, other things. Oh, I could go outside. Let me back in my house. I'm not ready for the outside world yet. I want to explore my home first. Let's take a look through. Something very creaky, and I don't think it was me. Let's take a look around. What is this? Found a box of batteries. Oh dear, is there a flashlight? Something decided to bane outside, but you know, not me, so whatever. I need a flashlight before I go outside, it would appear. Anything in the shower curtain? No. Anything inside the sink? No. Seems to be a whole lot of nothing right now. I'm gonna go upstairs and hope I can find my goddamn flashlight before I decide to go outside, so... My house is nice and cozy. I need a key to open this. Okay. Well, I've got batteries. No flashlight. This seems like a smart idea. Let me go on out. This is good enough lighting. Unfortunately, oh, some st mystical force pushes me away. Unfortunately, I'm locked in a cage that has my home. Even though I can't go outside for a bit, so... Yeah. Remember, I can sprint. And then over here... Doesn't look like it, except for my favorite dancing bush, but yeah. Let's go on out. By which I mean, let's go check out my garage, I think, or shed? I also have a basement. Need a flashlight and batteries to go inside the basement. I already have batteries. Let's find my flashlight. What does this say? I don't know, I can't read. That's my broom, and there's my key. Found the key for the second floor. Stuck. Maybe a crowbar will open it. So there's a crowbar to get down here. There's a basement where I need a flashlight. I know the key's probably for the house itself. I'm gonna check out the back of my house because I'm here. Oh, it's a generator home. Can't open it right now though. 
this is a little strange. I'm finding myself getting curious about what's going on, so that's good. That's about all the trash cans. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go back home. I think there'll be a flashlight in the attic. One can hope. That was a shattering sound. One can hope, certainly. Yep. So I opened this, obviously. Flashlight, are you in the closets? Before I go back on that, let me explore what we're here. My upstairs is creepy. I don't like it. I like it. Let's go on through. Just gotta be a little bit cautious, because we hear glass shatter up here, I think. Or somewhere glass shattered. I can't read any of the things. Oh, there's a door there. Didn't mean to go in there. Ooh, there's a time. I'll get back there. The clock is ticking, but time means nothing. That's a combination. I could try all 9,999 combos it could be, but it's probably what's on the clock here. 2131, one, obviously. 2331. Is that what the clock said? 2131, one, I'm done. My old collection of records. There was something on that TV screen. I guess who it was, but there was something. 2131, obviously. Let's go. 2131. Ta da! And inside, it's useless, Gary. You're stuck. Completely stuck, and you can do nothing about it. All your life, you've been walking down the downward spiral of this place. It's gonna be the end for you. It's like a key. Well, something happened somewhere. Sound like something fell down. No records. No flashlight. No nothing. All clocks in the house have stopped working. Well, not gonna be able to get any of my vinyl records yet. Don't have a flashlight. This was useless, except it probably triggered something, so it's going back. I'm the boss of this house. No spooky ghost is gonna get me, I say as I get jump scared. Ghosts weren't too happy with my response there, apparently. Still no flashlight, though. Which is unfortunate, because that's what I need. Ooh, there's a blood trail now. Well, let's follow this non-conspicuous blood trail. Leads right into this part of the house. I'm sure this is okay. Somebody put a hole in my bathroom. I'll go down. I don't have a flashlight. One of these, even. That's my way to get back up. Well, let's explore the hole. This is my hole. It was made for me. Oh, there's my flashlight. I wonder how I got down here. I don't have a flashlight without batteries, but I do have batteries. Do, do I press I? I guess I just go to the basement and I'll get it working eventually. Now I can enter my basement. I'm sure this is a good idea and it's nothing I'm going to regret. What's it like to be caged? Do you like the feeling of helplessness? Actually, yes, I kind of do. You're dead, Gary, and soon you'll realize it. I'm fine. Let's go on outside. I was haunting the whole time. Maybe. Let's go on down. Let's go down. Press S to turn on flashlight. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm good. Let's take a good old look. My favorite flat barrels that look almost like just pieces of cardboard. Oh, my favorites. Let's go on deeper into this good old basement and see what's going on. Hey. What could be creeping down the underside belly? I don't remember the cellar being this huge. Hey, I got an expansion. Free, free cellar expansion, can't complain. It's like a labyrinth. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna stick to the left pathways for a little bit. See if I find anything. Hey! Do you think I'm not alone down here? Do you think there's something here with me? That's a light. I think I'll trust it. Oh, it's a crowbar. I oh. I didn't see what the text said, but it said something. Try 
trying to find a way out, sirs. I'm turning things. Or I got before this finish screeching or whatever. God dang it. Let's go this way. As you hear, I was getting higher and higher to pitch. Let's go this way. Oh, made it. I'm fine. I got everyone's favorite crowbar. There's a little bit of panic inducing I'll admit. All right, crowbars were in here. I can make progress by unhatching this. I want to go through the sewers to try and make my escape. This does not seem like a good idea, but I'm going to take it. Down the hatch. Oh, there's just another home down here or something. Let's go. I hope this place will lead me to an exit. Eh, it may, it may not. There's a pathway over there. My first gonna escape this door. Bookshelves. I can feel the soil falling over my head, and I climb into an empty bed. I know it's over. I don't know where else I can go. Nothing more random in these parts, though. Well, that was interesting. We're just going to our grave, Gary. Grave, Gary. Let's go to the door. Hey! It's a warehouse we had under our house. It makes sense. Don't question. Yep, need a key, or at least something to break a lock, which neither of which I have. I'll go take that door is locked. Okay. The door with the monster sounds behind it. You're the one. Well, no time like the present. Someone's baning something in here. This reminds me of the scene from Resident Evil 4. You approach a baning closet. Probably shouldn't open this. I really don't want to open that door. Probably smart. We can hear something come out. I hide in a closet or something when it never breaks out that we know it's gonna break out. Found the key. Well, time to go back. No time like the present, as they say. There's nothing inside the cage. Let's go. But there could be something out here now. Decided just to go be free with the wild. Bane so much, it eventually got free. It earned its freedom, is all I know. Now, this is not going to open up this door, because yeah, I got a key, which is to unlock this padlock. Which hopefully, I get something to take care of the wood in front of that door. Well, gonna go down, I guess. Hello, door I'm not gonna open. What is through here? Different ways to go. Nice grating on the ceiling. I don't even know what this is. Fits one of these. Don't know what that's about, but I guess I need to find more of those. Figure out what that's about. I mean, do they look different to each other? They all look the same, so I'm just looking for a certain number of them. Ah, steam over there. You'll ever get rid of the steam? Never got rid of the steam. Hi, it's a telephone! Hello. It was my favorite call. Just trying to centerate me with that beautiful voice of it. Another one of these. Didn't even notice it. Let's put it in. Stick it right in there. What's over here? Dirt. That's enticing. Hey. Battery in back here. Yep. And thus, all of these batteries were collected to open up this door. Let's get where it belongs in a socket. This opens, let's start exploring. Let's continue. Game saved, so it's not about to happen. <laughs> That's the first time you said game saved. And it got quiet. I 
kind of long hallway where I can't open any goddamn doors. Call me at least a bit, at least. Better run! Okay. None of these are open, and the sound is piercing. I got eaten. I don't even know what's chasing me. I'll figure it out next time. Load game. I got a save game right before this. Let's go. Now this pushes out of its way after it loads to be here. I kind of want to see what's chasing me this time. When it says better run, I'm going to look backwards and see what was chasing me. Call me morbidly curious. Oh, it's just red. Red was chasing me. Color red really dislikes me. We can roll with it. Game saved. Well, at least red stopped hating me. I couldn't take the color red disliking me much. Well, there's a key or something that resembles a key. Maybe scissors. This is my pistol. Oh, it's a gun. It's not a key. What's it doing here? Are we gonna shoot the red away? Why did I call you coming here? You haven't achieved anything by this, the voice in my head told me. There's no escape. You're stuck here forever. A never ending pain will make you insane. But you can make it stop. The choice is yours. Shoot me. You're basically you're saying, give up? Yes. I knew it would come to this. All my life I've been suffering. I'm corrupted and useless. I'm going to put an end to all of this. God, forgive me. I just want to see it happen because I saved your game right before this. And thus we killed ourselves. Uh, I figured that was going to be a bad ending. That's why I did it first. So yeah, yeah. I... Gary decided to kill himself. What a grand end. Now, of course, that was the bad ending. So let's go for what's probably the good ending. As I knew the game had saved its game. I was hoping it wouldn't overwrite my save. But thankfully, it didn't. Let's take our pistol. Now we can't move for a little bit. That's my pistol. What's it doing here? Why did you come in here? You haven't achieved anything by this. There's no escape. You're stuck here forever. A never-ending pain will make you insane. But you can make it stop. The choice is yours. No. I will resist. I don't want to die here. Do you honestly think you can save yourself? Maybe. Time to take off the mask. Sanity. Guess that's my health. I hear something walking around. There it is. You can hear it with the heartbeat. There we go. It's got to kill it. There we go. The mask is literally what I'm attacking. And thus it poofed in the smoke. That was actually a lot easier than I was expecting. Now is the real boss going to show up? Or is that the end? That was kind of interesting. It's all over. I finally managed to defeat my own fears. Clean up my mind. All this time the grid existed only in my head. My personal demons locked me up here. But I won. And now I'm free.
I've come back to the house and found something that wasn't there here before. A letter from my friends. They're not disappointed in me. They ask me to come back. Their kind words finally remind me that I'm not alone and there's still hope. Fully calm, I step out of the house, where just a few hours ago I was suffering my worst nightmare ever. Finally, I'm coming back. And this time, I will find a solution. I'm coming home. I don't like the ending too much, but regardless. I like the game itself. Could have done a little bit more of some things, but it was interesting. I liked it overall. Even if I didn't really like the ending, the story is kind of eh. Still, though, it is to what it is. That was the mask reveals the disgusting face. I guess he had a disgusting face. I only saw a mask. Ironically. Now, ah, well. Gary will remember this.